So let's talk about series circuits for a minute. Um, this is a circuit. It's got an idealized voltage. I could call this an EMF if I wanted to. We'll generally just call them a voltage. And then it's got three resistors. It's got a wire going to here through this resistor and through this resistor R2 and through this resistor R3 and then back to here. The voltage measures um, the joules per coulomb going from uh, across the battery and so you know this could be a 12 volt battery or something like that. Well that's the that's the energy per charge, the potential energy per charge and so um, there's going to be three voltage drops across here that are going to get us all the way back from whatever maybe I started at 12 volts all the way back to zero volts. All of the energy per charge will be consumed through these resistors and so I can say look I can say V1 is equal to I times R1 V2 that's the voltage across resistor 2 so this might be V1 the voltage across here would be V2 and the voltage across here would be V3. We did some of this in lab where we measured the voltages across different resistors right and it's just the current through the resistor times the resistance and then V3 is I times R3 and notice that everybody has the same current right the current the, is, is just the charges that move through the circuit and and charges aren't stored in here they're just pumped through here and so any charge that leaves here has to come all the way back around to here again it doesn't have a choice and so every resistor sees the exact same number of charges it sees the exact same current so you know you can think of this as a piping system with no escape right all the water that goes out one end of the pump if it's pumped all the way through it has to come back into the pump the water in your fish tank if you have a fish tank the pump pumps water in and then uh, and then pushes water out and it's it's the same that goes out that comes in right so here every little resistor sees the same voltage and so it sees the same current and so the voltage on the battery has to be just V1 plus V2 plus V3. It's the three voltages across the three guys. There's a voltage drop across here and across here and across here and it gets us back to this voltage. And so you can think of this as like a contour map or something like that. If I start on one place and end on that place I have to get back to the same voltage there. And so these three voltages add up to that guy. And, and we can ask the question, um, well what is the effective resistance of the whole circuit? Right? Suppose I just had a little black box here A green box and I couldn't see in it right if I couldn't see in the green box now I just know that there's some resistor here right and we'll call it uh, we'll call this resistor R series because I have a bunch of resistors in here we'll call this R series right and we're just going to pretend that that's got a resistor Res the whole circuit has a resistance R series well then we can say look uh, V V is equal to I times R series, but that's equal to I times R1 plus I times R2 plus I times R3, right? Because each one of these voltages, V1 is I times R1, V2 is I times R2, and V3 is I times R3, right? Can you see that okay? And then, uh, and so if I just look at this equation, I R series is equal to I R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. I can cancel an I out of each one of those. Everybody has an I and so I can divide both sides by I and I just get R series is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. In other words when I add resistors in series they just add up. And so if I had, if, you know, for, for N resistors in series, R series is equal to R1 plus, plus Rn. So now I'm saying, suppose I have uh, four resistors in series um, what's their total resistance? Well, just what I had before, our series 
is R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4, which is 10 ohms plus 20 ohms plus 30 ohms plus 40 ohms, right? And that's uh, 100 ohms. So that's this. That's the total resistance, right? So I can say, well, if these four resistors, right, are in a circuit with a 12 volt battery, so hang on a second here, so I can draw a picture of this, right? Right. If this is my uh, if this is my circuit, if I have the if I have the four resistors in series with a 12 volt battery, then um, then I can just say, look, uh, uh, the the voltage on the battery is equal to the current in the circuit. Same current that goes through each one goes through every other one, and so I can just calculate this one times R series, or I is equal to V over R series, and that's equal to 12 volts over 100 ohms or 0 0.12 uh, amps right that's my uh, that's my current and that's the current through each resistor and so on right and then I can ask the question well I can say uh, maybe I'll leave that part Now I can ask the question, well, what's the voltage drop across each resistor? Right. And so V1 is equal to I times R1, which is equal to 0 0.12 amps times uh, 10 ohms, which is 1.2 volts, right? V2, same current, I times R2, which is 0 0.12 amps times 20 ohms, which is equal to 2.4 volts, right? Similarly, V3 is I times R3, which is the same current, 0.12 amps, times 30 ohms, which is equal to zero, sorry, 3.6 volts. And V4 is equal to I times R4, which is 0.12 amps, again, same current, times 40 ohms, which is 4.8 volts, right? Notice that if I add these things up, I get uh, V, it's the sum of the four voltages, is, uh, is uh, 0.12 plus 0.24 is 3 point, sorry, 1.2 plus 2.4 is 3.6, plus 3.6 is 7.2, plus 4.8 is 12 volts, which is exactly what I said I had in, the, in my original, uh, uh, in my original problem. Okay. So that's series circuits. So in this example we have three resistors, R1 equals 10 ohms, R2 equals 20 ohms, R3 equals 30 ohms, in series and connected to a 12 volt battery. Um, and we want to determine the current through the voltage across and the power consumed by each resistor. And so the first thing we can see is that in a series circuit, 
everybody has the same current. And so if we want to determine the current for one, we get the current for all of them. Um, so the way we do that is, is we use Ohm's law, right? That's uh, I equals V over R, but we have to use the total resistance of the circuit. If we knew the individual voltages, voltage across any resistor, we could determine the, volt, the current through that resistor by just dividing B, V by R by, for that resistor, but we don't know. We, know. we don't know the voltage across any one resistor. We know the voltage across the whole circuit. And so if we want to use that, we have to use the total resistance of the circuit. And so we say R series is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. That's equal to 60 ohms because 10 ohms plus 20 ohms plus 30 ohms is 60 ohms. And that means the current through the circuit is 12 volts over 60 ohms, which is 0 0.2 amps. And so that's the that's the that's the current. And now once we know the current through each resistor, we can say, look, V1 is equal to I1 R1, and that'll give us the voltage. Well, I1 is just the same as I, because everybody has the same current, so it's just the same thing as I R1. Well, that means it's 0.2 times 10 ohms, or 2 volts. Similarly, V2 is equal to I2 R2 which is just the same thing as I times R2, which is 4 volts. And finally, V3 is I3 R2, which once again, the current through resistor 3 is the same thing as all the other currents, because it's a series circuit. I R3, that's equal to 6 volts. And notice, 2 plus 4 plus 6 gives me 12. The voltage drop around my whole circuit has to be 12 volts, same as my battery. And so now, once we've done that, we know the voltage through each resistor and the current, the voltage across each resistor and the current through, we can calculate the power, right? If you remember, power is equal to V times I or I squared times R or V squared over R. And so we can just, we can use any of these formulas in this problem, but we can say, look, the power in resistor one is V1 times I. V1 was, was two. We said there was uh, two volts across this guy, and so it's, so it's two volts times 0 0.2 uh, amps, which is 0 0.4 watts. Similarly, P2 is V2 times I, which is four volts times uh, 0 0.2 amps, which is 0 0.8 watts. And finally, P3 is uh, V3 times I, which is uh, 6 volts times 0 0.2 amps, which is 1.2 watts. All right. So one resistor is consuming 0.4, um, one's consuming 0.8, and the other one's consuming 1.2. And so P tote is equal to uh, 2.4. Um, watts. And notice we could have also calculated the total uh, 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 the total power consumed. We could have said P tote is equal to V on the battery times R series. right? Because that's the total resistance of the circuit and that would be 12 volts times uh, uh, sorry times the current through the circuit times 0 0.2 amps which is uh, 2.4 watts. Okay, that's a series circuit example. If I know the voltage and the resistors, I can calculate the currents, all the voltages, and all the powers, and the total power for the circuit.